all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank the Lord for giving us one more opportunity to spend few minutes in the word of God. Let us turn to Psalm 61 for a small devotion and the title is The Rock Higher Than I. We read in verses uh, 2 and 3. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. David is casting all his cares on the Lord during worse times. He is at the extreme distress. Coming to God like a little child who is helpless and crying to him to hear his prayer. He is at the end of all his hope. He is emotionally and physically drained. His eye is focused on this rock. His faith rests on this rock. He is unable to reach to the top of this rock for safety from the enemy. He knows clearly that he needs divine guidance. Beloved sisters, we need to depend on God's power and promise. By faith and special grace from the Lord, anyone can reach to the top of this rock. Man's wisdom or any efforts will not help in this. We should come to the Lord by prayer and faith, surrendering our lives to Him, totally depending on His grace. His power and promises are a rock to us. Jesus Himself is this rock higher than man. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 The cleft rock From this rock flows the living water life giving water continuously. Only God can put us there. In Exodus chapter 33 verse 22 we read that the Lord God told Moses I will put you in the cleft of the rock. Are we crying to God to lead us to this rock for building our life? Are we building on this rock? Where do we put our foundation? On this sinking sand of this world or on Christ the solid rock? Our everything, all should be built on Christ. Our marriage, our family, everything. That is where we find shelter and refuge from all alarms. We can safely hide in him. This rock is the trustworthy shelter. He is the rock of ages. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. We read in Proverbs 18.10. When David says in verse 3, Thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy, David is bringing up here his past experience. That gives him more assurance to hold on to the Lord for his present crisis. He is coming to the Lord in simple trust. God cannot and shall not refuse such a broken and humble heart. So David is confident that he is safe in this shelter. Also this rock is our inheritance of eternal life. Colossians 1 verses 12 and 13. God himself is our inheritance and portion. Those who have him but very little of this world have everything. No need to worry or complain. Matthew's Gospel chapter 6 verse 33. We read, Seek first the kingdom of God then the promise is that all things will be added to us. Lord Jesus Christ is the living bright reality. He is very close to us. He is very present help. More dear and intimate than anyone on this earth. Let's praise and worship him from the bottom of our heart. May we daily come to this rock as a little child for his amazing protection and provision. Crying to God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Amen.